right. Stephen Gutowski is a writer for the Washington Free Beacon who has unsuccessfully tried to obtain a concealed weapons permit in Washington, D.C., our nation's capital, where he works. But despite receiving threatening emails like, quote, you're going to get it so bad, we're coming for you, the district concluded that he failed to demonstrate a good reason and they denied his gun permit request. Stephen joins me now. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm very good. Thank you very much for being here tonight. So you can't legally enter Washington, D.C. with a concealed weapon. How do you feel about visiting the Mall of America? Yeah, well, you can't have a gun there either legally, so uh, it's a bit worrisome going uh, to either one of those places because you never know what's going to happen. And I think that uh, gun-free zones make us less safe. I am trepidatious about going anywhere where it advertises to people who want to hurt Americans and innocent people that there's no one there who can defend them. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, you never know what's going to happen. The world is, is an unpredictable place, and, and I, for one, would prefer to be prepared. Tell me about some of the hoops you went through trying to get a concealed carry permit in D.C., a notoriously difficult place to get a gun, uh, also, conversely, with a high crime rate. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, you have to fill out an application, which is common, but it costs $110, which is, which is quite high. You have to get your fingerprints taken by the police, uh, and then you have to sit back and wait uh, for the chief of police to determine whether or not you have a good reason to carry a firearm. And I, I, after I went through that whole process, they denied me, which I think is just proof that the city is not interested in having law-abiding people. Yeah, they, I mean, they're going to they're gonna come up with pretty much any reason to deny people from legally carrying concealed guns. And uh, in your case, I mean, you've had threats against you. You've received threatening emails because of the work that you do. Uh, one person even called you a red coat, which is an outrage, and you were denied. What recourse do you have at this point? Uh, the only thing I have left is uh, to file an appeal, which I did today. Um, right now, the city's laws are also being challenged on their constitutionality once again. Uh, the city's back in court, and, and they're back in front of the same judge who declared the outright ban on carry unconstitutional in the first place. So I actually think there's a relatively good chance uh, that that'll happen again. Yeah, and there are Second Amendment groups who are rallying around people like you. How many uh, concealed carry permits has the city approved so far? Uh, as of today, they've approved 16 permits out of a city of 600,000. Wow. I feel so much safer going to our nation's capital already. Stephen, thank you so much. Thank you. Coming up next.